Welcome to Jack Price Stadium in Ames, Iowa, where the Cardinal and Gold gathering spring as they gear up to support their Iowa State Cyclones. This game today could be an inflection point for both of these teams as each hoping to use it as a springboard to get into the top 25. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Texas Tech Red Raiders, taking on another team from the Big 12 in an intra-conference matchup, the Iowa State Cyclone. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Cyclones will kick it away to start. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Texas Tech's offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese, and it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. And the Red Raiders want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, give on the inside. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. There's nothing better than opening drive, coming out as an away team. Everybody's got all that excitement, all that energy and being able to run the football and physically exert yourself to start a football game. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Morton. Dumps it to the back. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. They're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Grab near the marker. It's Brooks. There to make the stop, but he is a weapon out of the backfield in the short passing game, and they've got a first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Finds his tight end. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Here comes the offense on second down. The give out of the gun. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wide out. And the missed connection on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. The Red Raiders will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. So Iowa State's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. 
One thing to keep an eye on in this game, when they get a back isolated on a linebacker, who wins that matchup? Quarterback likes the matchup, but this linebacker, he's different, man. Not only is he a hitter, he's got the athleticism to cover people, too. Normally, you say that's a win for the running back. And running back on a linebacker, I win. But this guy is different. Interested to watch this matchup. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To throw, it's back. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the big fella. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. It's a really nice job in coverage defensively there because that tight end, he wasn't really even open. Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity. But great tackle, short of the stick, setting up fourth down. And the Cyclones will line up to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He gets a block. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Texas Tech has it back, and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. And the Red Raiders will hustle to the line. On second down, he'll let it fly. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. The offense sets up chop at the 46 on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Quickly out to the tight end. They get him down after he makes the catch. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Line is set on third down. It'll be a draw. Can't get him to the ground. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. The Red Raiders will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. He'll keep it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in. He got that sucker to the ground. Now on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. 
Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Well, that didn't bust for a long one. Now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. Gets the job done on third down as he gets it to the 25 before he's brought down. Yeah, and I just need a crease. I need you offensive linemen just like right here. Great job holding the point of attack. Don't let any penetration come in. Give me a little sliver, and then you see the running back Palmer. He'll do the rest, lower his shoulder, and make sure he gets the first down. Yeah, it means a lot to this offense, too, to have a guy like this that always just seems to fall forward. He always, in these short yarded situations, knows where that first down marker is, and he's able to get those hidden yards in piles, driving his legs to help keep this drive alive. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Gives it to the back on the draw. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Back to throw, it's Beck. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. The Cyclones will put this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. On the run, it's Brooks. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the Red Raiders want to move quickly. They'll give it to the back. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. All right, guys, that's not a home run type play, but he did enough there to keep the chains moving. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Offense gets set for second down. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Moves away as he feels pressure. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Dropping back, it's Morton. Using the quick game. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down the best one <laughs> I mean I think the open one obviously the politically correct answer but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with you know exactly where he's gonna be you got that bond and that trust and they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger game 
And as a defense, you're going to give up plays. And the receiver's going to make nice catches. But it's your job to limit the damage. Great job by the defense. As soon as he catches the football, they get him on the ground. Don't allow any of those big plays after the catch. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Finds his big tight end. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball is going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. He's looking to throw. He'll take a shot. And he's got it! Touchdown, Red Raiders! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. A 69-yard touchdown drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Kickoff team has the ball teed up in there about ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Iowa State sending the offense back out. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the big fella. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. After the short completion, it's now second down. To the air. It's back. He'll off one deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. And you just could not allow that to happen defensively, giving up a big play like that. They're going to need to now play with some sense of urgency if they're not going to give up any points here before the end of the half. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Got some of the work done on first now. Let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. And the holder will put it down on the left hash, a 34-yard attempt coming. Right down the boulevard, it's good. Hold on just a second, Personal guys. Personal foul. Back on the the kicker, kicker. Defense. Defense. So the offense, more than happy with the result of the play, will decline the penalty. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. But see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. As expected, looks as if they'll run it out and go into halftime with a lead. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very intriguing first two quarters of football in Ames. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses 
and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Jack Trice Stadium. The Red Raiders will kick it away to start the second half. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Iowa State has the ball back. The Cyclones ready to go on offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Oh, or now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates... Makes the grab on the right. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. Looking to throw, it's back. He tries to take the top off. Reels it in down the left side. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And the Cyclones have it with a first and ten. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He'll pull it on the read. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Going for six. Throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and up. They'll decline the penalty here, and the result of the play stands. They're backed up, first and ten from their own one. First up, they've got to avoid disaster. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Tackle. And the Red Raiders racing to the line in the hurry up. Gets it out fast. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. That throw and catch a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, Dave? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Bully ball on third and short. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. First and 10 from their own 17. The RPO, it's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. 
it's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm going to run them, but you got to make those decisions and you got to make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working, ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Dropping back, it's Morton. Pressure coming. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. The Red Raiders line up to punt it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend, and this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Still on the 35-yard line after that incompletion. Here comes second and 10. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Got it! that they've got the lead here in the second half one of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch if this quarterback gets through his progression david gets you in stride these guys will take it to the house man it's your job to do the rest right you hit me in stride where i don't have to stop running i don't have to break down it makes it so easy the connection between quarterback wide receiver you can tell this is a good one and that's why they got six on that play Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the scoring play comes on the touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. From inside the 10, here he comes. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. They'll get things started on this drive from the 24. RPO complete to open the drive. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. That's the end of the period, and Iowa State has the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They go to the ground. Finds his way for three out to the 33. Raiders come. 
come to the line in the hurry up. Wants to throw. It's Morton. Quickly to the tight end. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Caught behind the line. It's Douglas. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. In offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to come before the first down. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to him. He's going to take off. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Well, I'll tell you, he picked a good time to have his longest run of the day. Really nice job there, feeling the pressure, buying himself some time, and then taking off and getting north. And just so gifted when he's in the open field, that's going to really give a jolt to his offense. Wide out in motion. He's got it on the right. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Line getting set on second down. The run from the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Get the field goal from here. It's a 51-yarder. Get a few on third down, and life is much better. Looking downfield, it's Morton. Finds his back in the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. The Red Raiders are in the hurry up. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. And the Red Raiders will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. He's moving out of the pocket. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. I just love the effort by the defense on this play. We're late in the game. It's in the fourth quarter. Guys are tired. They're not able to get to the QB right away, but they continue pursuing him, and they're able to get to him outside of the pocket. Nice job. 
A field goal attempt from here would be 54 yards. They'd love to pick up a few on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. It's caught downfield. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Got to give this defense tons of credit. How good have they been on the back end in coverage? Just feels like every time this QB is throwing the ball, it's been contested. They haven't given up a lot of yards. And they need to continue to be great in coverage with the lead in this two-minute situation. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. It is perfect. Final minute of play all locked up. Are we headed to overtime? And this kicker has ice water in his veins. Fourth quarter, you need to make the field goal to tie it up, and that kid just drilled it. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Looking to move it through the air. Tight end finds a soft spot. Time out on the field, and everybody want to make sure they're organized as we come down the gut of the game. It's first and ten from the 31. Looking to pass. It's Beck. Going up top. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? And you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab over the middle. Offense takes a timeout. 27 seconds left. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. With the catch, it's Jackson. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. Well, I know it's early in the drive, and you're just trying to get completions and get the drive going, but this is two minutes, and you're trailing. I mean, you've got to take some shots down the field and be a little bit more aggressive, put some pressure on this defense. The Cyclones send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin them deep. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first. To, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? They'll leave it with the lone back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. They go to the draw. He's brought down after a nice game. Here comes first and goal as they try to strike here in overtime. Looking to throw, it's Morton. He caught it! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. 
And after that first down gasher, they're close to the end zone. Second and goal coming. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Red Raiders! They take the lead here in overtime. Man, diving catches always look sweet, but they look even sweeter when it's for a touchdown. That's shades of Desmond Howard back in the day winning a Heisman Trophy and making catches against Notre Dame. That was unbelievable. The all-important extra point would push this lead to seven. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. Wants to throw on first down. Quick completion on the out route. And that's where they'll mark him a very productive play and a first down. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Cyclones! They got it in, and now an extra point away from Obviously very hard to complete passes this area of the field. Nice execution. Now you're down by one. And now you got to make the decision. Are we going to go for it and try to end the game right here and put this game in our offense's hands? What do you think? And that's why I love having the ball second, because I get the opportunity to do this. I knew they scored a touchdown. We scored a touchdown. Now, do I want to go for the win, or do I want to continue this game on? It's so nice to have the ball second. Don't assume on this extra point. They needed to send it to a second OT. And he makes the extra point. We play on first down here in the second overtime period. Hand off from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Scanning the field. It's Beck. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to take the lead here in the second overtime. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Brings up second and goal. Can the D deny them on second and goal? The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. The defense has made it tough, but they'll try to plow their way in here on third goal in overtime they want to dance their way in on third and goal touchdown Iowa State got it in to take the lead here in the second OT up and over Yama will be there into the end zone and, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football but this is one of those areas where you do in the end zone near the goal line you smell it a lot of bodies in front of you just get up get over top of them get that touchdown
Now in the second overtime, you must go for the two-point conversion. Looking for a man. It's Beck. Zings it complete to the right. Worked on the touchdown. Might as well do the same thing on the two-point conversion. He gets all eight points on that trip. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. They'll crank up this drive with a pass. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. First and goal, down a touchdown. They have to get it in the end zone. From the gun. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. They got one score they needed. Now they need the deuce to send us to triple OT. I think the quarterback showed his head coach a lot on that last touchdown pass. The poise and the confidence. And because of that, David, on this upcoming two-point play, you might just put it back in his hands and let him go win it. Yeah, man, I need it again, right? Like these rules, I got to go for two. This is a clutch moment. Obviously, got to come up big. Do you trust him again? You worked on these two-point plays all year long, all week long. That's what you do. You know the rules. Now you got to go execute. They need this two-point conversion to send us to triple overtime. To the air, it's Morton. Looking to the big tight end. They couldn't get it in, and what a heartbreaking way for this one to end in double overtime.